Hi everyone. So welcome to our class. So today I uh, will be continuing continuing with our lesson, and that would be on plant nutrition. So it would be very very helpful if you could take out your notes on plant nutrition's right now. Okay. So if you take them right now. Okay, that's good. And once you have taken them out, so I would like to firstly I would like to outline what we're going to do today. Okay, so firstly, what we're going to do is we will recall on the process of photosynthesis. Okay, and second, we will look at the certain experimental setup, okay, Ex experimental setup to investigate the photosynthesis process. Okay, so how do we know actually that we need sunlight, for example, for photosynthesis? Or how do we know they need carbon dioxide? Or how do we know that they need chlorophyll? Right, so that's the second thing that we're going to look at. And number three is we're going to look at how to describe and explain uh, these factors. explain how these factors actually affect photosynthesis. Right, so those are the three main things that we're going to look at today. Okay, so if you could go to your notes now, which I will also show here. Uh, let's see. There. Okay, so if you go to page two, you should see firstly, we are going to recall about photosynthesis. Okay, upper equations, yeah, you should be familiar with this as well. Okay, equations, yeah, carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of light and chlorophyll will give up glucose and oxygen. Okay, so this should be should not be alien to you. Okay, and the symbol equation in this in this case the chemical equation. The chemical equation what it would be it would be six CO two plus H two O. There will be six H two O. Same thing, light and chlorophyll in the presence of glucose. So if you know glucose should be C six H twelve O six and six O two. Okay, so that's the balanced chemical equations for photosynthesis, right? So as you can see, there are four, one, two, three, four. So there are four factors which actually affects photosynthesis, okay? Because without any of these four, photosynthesis will not actually happen, right? So we're going to look at how carbon dioxide, this one, two, and three, chlorophyll. So how these three factors, macam mana orang tahu tiga factors ini berguna, okay? We are going to ignore water, simply because water, it's very hard to, uh, it's very hard to investigate using the apparatus that we have in the lab, okay? So it, it will take a very, very high-tech uh, apparatus to investigate water. Okay, but we do know that they need water. But so far, what we can do is we can investigate carbon dioxide, light, and chlorophyll using the apparatus that we have in the lab. Okay, so how do they do it? All right, so how do they actually do it? So let's look at this. This is how actually how it's done. Right, so you have, I've actually gone to this website here. It's bbc.co.uk slash bite size slash guides okay so you can go to this website bbc.co.uk slash bite size you can type in photosynthesis there right so this is how it looks like photosynthesis gcse then you can find there's investigation investigating the need for chlorophyll in photosynthesis right so there's actually quite a lot more right so for now is investigating the need for chlorophyll in photosynthesis. If you if you realize, this is actually ada ara your textbook. Okay, I forgot which page is it, so you can find it on your own. Right, the yellow textbook. Uh, I don't have it with me. All right, so you can find it on there. It will be quite similar. Okay, so I need. We are investigating the need for chlorophyll in photosynthesis. So macam mana orang tahu kami perlukan chlorophyll? Untuk photosynthesis, okay. So cara caranya, so triknya kami ambil variegated plants here, okay. So ane triknya yang penting. Kami ambil variegated plants. So you should know what variegated plant is. So variegated plant it simply means leaf yang ada green sama white at the same time, okay. So you've seen this, okay. Ada ni banyak di sekolah, 
right? So you take out the plant. So what you do is you unveil the plant. So you unveil plant dari luar atau yang indah berkacau, yang indah sana atau kamu unveil. Lepas satu kamu simpan arah mana? Kamu simpan arah black cupboard. Okay, so basically you you put them away from the sunlight. Okay, you put them from any light source. You know, you gel them. Okay, so what essentially you are doing is you are actually destarching them. Okay, so if you see here, it's destarch a variegated plant. So why do you want to destarch? Apa maksud destarch dulu? So destarch ani artinya kami kan pakai. Okay, kan masa awal awal ya innocent di luar tu ada yang membuat ia punya starchnya. Okay, ada ya fotosintesis sudah awal, ia ada buat starch. Lepas satu starch itu kena simpan arah the green part. Okay, and the green part, ia akan simpan juga arah the white part. Okay, so the white part, you know, they, they also keep it there, right? Bukannya orang membuat, tapi they keep it there, right? So that's why we don't want. Okay, so we want them to use up all the starch that they have made earlier. Okay, supaya Awal-awal, tidak ada arah green, tidak ada juga arah white. Okay, so that we want to investigate. Siapa yang sebenarnya membuat the 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 starch? Okay, is it the green or is it the white? Okay, pasal awal-awal dua-dua region itu ada starch tu. Okay, so we put them away in the black cupboard. So when we put them away, they use up all the starch because no starch because no sunlight. Okay, another light. So they need to force themselves to use up the starch. Okay, untuk release glucose, untuk respiration nora. Okay, so that's what the purpose of this touching is. So they want to use them up. Okay, so after you destarch the starch, destarch the variegated plant. Okay, and then the second point, make a drawing of the leaf. So this one is kirakan we want to know. Okay, you draw mana satu region yang green. Mana satu region yang white. Ani, if you see here region yang white macam ada the very 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 apa tu light green. So that is kira the white region, and this is the dark green, right? And second, sudah kamu draw, sudah kamu simpan dalam cupboard. Kamu simpan berapa lama? Simpan dalam dua puluh empat jam kira nya. Okay, contoh twenty four hours or 36 hours ka is also okay, right? And then lepas satu sudah start saya kena pakai semua sekali kena pakai dan baru tak kami simpan di luar semula arah sunlight, okay? Kami simpan semula arah sunlight, kami simpan dalam beberapa jam sahaja. Maybe kami simpan dalam dua jam tiga jam, okay? Lepas satu kami simpan dua jam tiga jam, lepas satu kami kami ambil balik putik. Ia punya leafnya tu, leaf variegatednya tu kami tak ambil, cabut, okay? And then apa kami buat? Then we test the starch using the four step starch test. Now, what the hell is four step starch test? As the starch test, this is it, okay? So if you go to this website here, save my exams. co. uk slash notes slash igcse biology. Okay, so this is the website how it looks like. Okay, save my exam. Blah, blah, blah. So you can see this is the procedures. Nina, yang pentingnya. Okay, so leaf yang kami cabut tadi itu apa kami akan buat? So awal awal kami rendam, kami boil. Leaf is boil in boiling water. So you put water inside a beaker and then you boil them. You boil them using a Bunsen burner, okay? So now, what is the purpose of doing this? Untuk apa kah ni kami boiling dulu ni? Okay, so we actually want to break down the cell wall first. Okay, kami kan pecahkan ni punya cell wallnya. Why do we bother to break down the cell wall? It's simply because we want we want it to allow the the ethanol to nanti sanang seep through masuk. To wash off the chlorophyll later, okay. So that's the the first thing you do is you boil them. Why you want to boil? You want to break down the cell wall. Lapas you boil and then you take out the leaf. You insert ara boiling tube. You take a new boiling tube and inside the boiling tube you put ethanol, okay, alcohol. 
right? And once you put the ethanol, once you put the alcohol, and then you put them back inside the boiling water, but you remove the Bunsen burner. So essentially you have a water bath. You have the water bath, you remove the fire, okay? Just boiling water saja, okay? To kirakan, kirakan to boil the ethanol, okay? You, bear in mind, you are dealing with ethanol here. And ethanol, alcohol is highly flammable. So that's why we remove the Bunsen burner, okay? But for this step, importantnya apa? Ethanol itu untuk apa? Ethanol is to remove chlorophyll from the leaf, okay? Kami kan hilangkan the green parts nya to. Okay, kami kan hilangkan chlorophyll nya. We want to decolorize the leaf. Why do we want to decolorize? Pasalnya, the next step karang, okay? Step four, we will actually involve iodine. Okay, kalau ia green, campur dengan iodine warna kuning, payah nampak. Okay, so we want to decolorize it first, right? So after the second step, you boil our ethanol after it has been decolorized sampai ethanolnya tu bertukar warna green sudah. Okay, sudah dia bertukar warna green and then you take them out and then you wash it off. You dip it sekejap, okay, to wash off any excess ethanol. Dip our air sekejap. And then lepas itu baru ta, you ambil iodine and then you 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 put drops of iodine are all over the leaf. Okay, the kira yang awal awalnya white, awal awal dan green. Uh, once you decolorize, semua sekali white to. Okay, and then you drop iodine everywhere. Okay, and you should see, right? And you should know iodine is testing for what? It should be testing for starch. Okay, so kalau ada starch, if there is starch present, okay, sorry. So okay. If there is starch present, that means ada photosynthesis. Kalau starch absent, artinya photosynthesis in dada. Okay. So kalau starch iodine positive, blue black ada starch. Iodine negative, yellow ada starch. Okay. So you should know the end result should be. Kan kami drawing awal-awal tadi sini. Okay. So the, the results should be macam-macam ini. Okay. Yang turning blue black would be tangga-tangga. Yang awal-awal green. Yang remaining yellow, pasalnya ia indah dah chlorophyll. Okay. So if you see here, blue black color indicate starch is present. Yellow color indicate starch is not present. Okay. So this actually... Only the areas that contain chlorophyll will photosynthesize. Therefore, test positive for starch, showing that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. Okay, so that's what it's saying there. Artinya, anita kami perlu tahu macam mana chlorophyll itu berguna. Pasal hanya arah tempat yang ada chlorophyll, ia bertukar blue black, ada starch. Okay, dan kalau tempat tidak ada chlorophyll, ia remain yellow, tidak ada starch. Okay, so this is the first factor. Okay, the first factor yang investigating for chlorophyll. The second factor is light. Okay, we want to investigate the need for light in photosynthesis. Okay, so now kami tahu light atau berguna untuk photosynthesis. So apa kami buat? Same thing macam tadi awal awal. Okay, kami ambil plant. This time we don't care whether it's variegated car, not variegated car. We would prefer actually the non-variegated leaf. Okay, yang biasa saja, leaf biasa. Okay, ambil leaf biasa di luar. Same thing, simpan arah black cupboard. Kami destouch them. You see that destouch a plant. Okay, so simpan arah black cupboard supaya apa? Supaya starchnya kena pakai. Sudah starchnya kena pakai. Lapas satu kami ambil, and then kami lapas kami di starch kami keluarkan dulu sekajap. Lapas itu apa kami buat? Kami ambil leafnya. Okay, we take the leaf. Kami bagi covering. Macam we we give a strip. Okay. So a covering strip here, any covering and light proof. So aluminium foil car, uh, black paper car, or even simple paper car, whatever lah. Okay, anything yang supaya light in the masuk. 
Okay, so we cover them. So after we cover, excuse me, and then lepas itu baru tak. Okay, we make a drawing. So we make a drawing supaya kami tahu lah di mana yang bercover, di mana yang tidak bercover. Okay, this is just for your record. And then place the plant in bright light for several hours. Sudah kami coverkan, baru kita simpan balik arah luar. Okay, simpan balik arah luar dalam dua tiga jam saja. Sudah itu, sudah simpan arah luar. And then Nina, test the leaf for starch using the four step starch test. Then we do the same thing that we have done. Which is mana tias ke depan? Which is this? Okay, we do the same step here. This. Okay, bim simpan boiling water, lepas tu simpan arah ethanol, then lepas ethanol, you wash off the ethanol, and then you drop with iodine all over the leaf. Okay, after that, then the result should be macam cemani. Okay, so the area yang kamu cover pakai light proof, pakai aluminium atau it should remain yellowish brown. Okay, pasal nada light, nada photosynthesis, therefore no starch. Tapi ada area yang kamu in the cover, area in the cover, ia ada sunlight, okay, exposed to sunlight. So exposed to sunlight, they photosynthesis, they photosynthesis, they make starch. So if you test with iodine, they will turn blue black, blue black here. Okay. So this actually shows that light is needed for photosynthesis. Okay, and lastly, investigation of carbon dioxide. Ah. Okay, so how do we know that carbon dioxide is needed for photosynthesis? Okay, so same thing. What we do is. Kami ambil plants dari luar, kami simpan arah kapbet. Kami simpan arah kapbet 24 hours untuk apa? Untuk de-starch here. Okay. Sudah kami de-starch, lepas itu kami ambil, kami ambil keluar. And then kami, let's say kami ada two plants lah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's say awal-awal kami ambil dua buting plants, dua-dua kami discharge, lepas tu kami keluarkan dua-dua. Satu kami simpan arah tempat macam ada container. Sini pun ada container. Okay. Satu container, they are exposed to sodium hydroxide. Okay, satu yang biasa saja, tidak ada sodium hydroxide. Okay. So you see here, one exposed to sodium hydroxide, exposed another to water, which is a control, which will does nothing. Okay, but sodium hydroxide they will actually do something. Okay, now if you see here, what the sodium hydroxide will do, they will actually absorb the carbon dioxide from the surrounding air. Okay, so whenever you come across leaf plants, ada sodium hydroxide ataupun Okay, it could either be potassium hydroxide or it could either be lithium hydro hydroxide. So anything yang hydroxide hydroxide or buninya to functionnya absorbing carbon dioxide. So which means if they absorb the carbon dioxide arah sodium, artinya untuk plants indah dah. Okay, so no carbon dioxide for plants. Okay, because it has been absorbed by the sodium hydroxide, so which means no carbon dioxide for the plants. And then you place the plant in bright light, and then lapas itu baru tanya you do the same thing yang the four touch test steps yang ini balik semula yang ini tadi. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth step. Okay, but this time what they have done is they remove the carbon dioxide. Yeah, they remove the carbon dioxide. Okay, and that's one way. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, the answer, the results for this experiment, kalau satu ada carbon dioxide, satu ada carbon dioxide. So obviously, plants yang ada carbon dioxide, in other words, plant exposed to water, yang ini, 
that the carbon dioxide absorbed from the surrounding. So they will have carbon dioxide available for them to photosynthesize. And then untuk dorang photosynthesis, which means they can make starch, they can photosynthesize. Okay. Tapi kalau yang ada sodium hydroxide, in the other carbon dioxide di luar, artinya in the other carbon dioxide untuk plant. So they cannot photosynthesize, cannot make starch. Okay. You know, results. Only leaf that has been exposed to carbon dioxide will photosynthesize, therefore test positive for starch, showing that carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis. Okay. There is another way. Now they actually investigate the for photosynthesis. Okay, investigate. They actually use this. Okay, they use this setup. Okay, they instead of testing with starch, they look at the production of oxygen. Pasal apa? Pasal kalau photosynthesis, they also make oxygen, kan? Right? So that's why we can look at the production of oxygen. And how do they do it? They actually take aquatic plants, photosynthesizing water plants there. Okay? So they take photosynthesizing water plant yang tinggal dalam air, and then we put them in this setup. You have a beaker, you have a, an inverted funnel, and then on top of it, you have a test tube, right? And you actually submerge the plant inside water and you expose them to light source, you expose them to water as well, because light source will provide light. The water will provide other dissolved carbon dioxide there, unless they actually gave sodium hydroxide here. Okay, kalau ada sodium hydroxide, low carbon dioxide, there will be no bubbles here. Okay, but here it's just water. They should have dissolved carbon dioxide. And what happened is they start to produce bubbles. And these bubbles are oxygen. Okay, and how do they know the rate, the fastness? Okay, how fast the photosynthesis is? They will actually count how much bubble is being produced in one minute. It's minute. Berapa bubble bubblenya ia produce? Kalau seminit bubblenya satu saja macam tu, 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 batah bubblenya, artinya fotosintesisnya lambat, indah banyak. Tapi kalau bubblesnya tu banyak banyak macam tu, 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 okay? Kalau banyak bubblesnya, artinya laju fotosintesisnya, banyak fotosintesisnya. Okay, so that's another way for you to do to measure the rate of photosynthesis. Okay, instead of using starch, starch, kami pakai production of oxygen. Tapi mesti pakai aquatic plants, photosynthesizing water plants. There, we count the number of bubbles. Okay. Uh, oh, by the way, this might not always be accurate. Okay, this might not be the best thing the best way to um, to measure it simply because the bubbles is not necessarily oxygen because sometimes as you know color plants and it they also respire during the day okay they do photosynthesis yes but they also respire during the day as well okay so you can't be sure that these bubbles and it is always oxygen so that's why it's not really an accurate representation but it's good enough so that's one way to do this, All right? So again, if you want to recall on your own, you can go to this website here, okay? bbc.co.uk slash bite size and also refer to this website here, okay? savemyexams.co.uk slash notes slash IGCSE biology, okay? You go to save my exams, you go to this website, IGCSE or GCSE, you go to biology, and then you know, revision notes. Now. There's a lot of uh, available notes that you can find. Okay? So that's it for the second part, or second part. Okay? That's it for the second part. Now, we are going to move on to the last part, the third part. Okay, in, in which we are trying to describe and explain how the factors affect the rate of photosynthesis. And for this, okay, we should actually go back to. Okay, 
they should go back to this one here. Okay, I think. Okay, so we're going back to your notes, which is you know, factors required for photosynthesis, right? So you have this graph, okay? And I believe that I have actually asked you guys to copy down the shape of the graph before, okay? For light intensity, for temperature, as well as for carbon dioxide, okay? So for today, we are gonna describe and explain Okay, Machamana can describe, Machamana can explain all these graphs here. Right. And to do that, I actually want to go to this instance. I'll stop sharing here first. And then this. Yeah. Okay. So this is. This is for the third part, huh? describe and explain how the factors affect the rate of photosynthesis. Okay, so firstly, let's say we look at the first factor, which is light intensity. So, okay, so the graph that you have should be Chamali. Sini, ara y, and ara x axis would be light intensity and then unitnya rb three unit and then arah y axis here kamu punya labelingnya should be rate of photosynthesis okay slash unitnya apa rb three unit okay and how does your graph should look like your graph actually should look something like this so it should go up gradually and then afterwards it will be too many it starts to level off okay now as you can see clearly it can be divided into two parts here okay part number one which is this and Part number two, which is this. Okay, so we can describe and we can explain using uh, this. Okay, so firstly, look at this one first. So, number one, we should describe and explain. Huh? Okay, so as you know, we should be able to describe. So, how do we describe this? Okay, so if you want to describe, I will always use this way to describe. Macam mana this way to describe ni? Macam mana? Kenapa? So firstly, I would write as the whatever it is as the something, and then increase from something to something the something and then either upper adjective this could be our explanator from something to something okay you know how what do i mean here as the Firstly, you put the labeling, ara x axis. Okay, so this one you put in here. So as the light intensity, as the light intensity increase, because we're talking about going to this direction, so it's increasing. Okay, as the light intensity increase from, so let's say it goes from zero and we we're talking about one can. So let's say it ends up to here, zero into 20. From zero to 20, and then I forgot here, RB units. 
So sini units nya. RB units. So mana? Yang ni. We put here. Sini. Kemari. Sini. Kemari. Okay. So as the light increase. Sorry. Okay. So what? It's a vector. As the light intensity, as the X increase from 0 to 20 arbitrary units, the now we put the same thing, Y, rate of photosynthesis, rate of photosynthesis. Okay, photosynthesis, I mean, in this case, we can see it's increasing, kan? so we put here increase. Kalau ia kami nampak ia decrease, buat sini decrease. Okay. Increase from berapa? From, let's say this is also from zero up until, let's say this is 50. Let's say. Okay, so from zero to 50 and then unitsnya. Apa unitsnya? Jangan ni. Arbitrary. Okay, done. This is the descriptions. Yeah. Okay, so it's very easy. Now do the same format for two as well. So if you look at two, right? So if you go for number two, okay, two upper descriptions. Yeah. So how do we describe? Same format as the something only in this case like intensity right intensity increase increase from now from 20 let's say or whatever so from 20 it could be up until 100 kalau nada you can what 20 onwards 20 onwards arbitrary units okay don't forget the unit then the same thing why the rate of photosynthesis okay the rate of photosynthesis in this case what you can see here it's actually remaining constant. So instead of what increase, can we put any constant? Remain constant. Okay, remain constant. Constant arah berapa? Constant arah 50. Remain constant at 50 RB. RB. Okay, done. Okay, so. It's quite simple, okay, the way to describe, okay? And this way to describe is actually applicable to any parts, okay? It could be for light intensity, it could be for temperature, okay? It could be for uh, carbon dioxide, it could be for chlorophyll, whatsoever, macam mana pun. Any graph, you can use this, okay? This format to describe, okay? Now, explanations, okay? Explanations nya yang berbeza sikit. But this time, okay, it's, it's quite simple explanations nya. Explanations nya ni maksudnya kenapa. Okay, kenapa kalau arah 1, this region here, makin banyak light, kenapa makin banyak photosynthesis. Okay, so explain. Okay, so explain means why. Okay. So why, kenapa makin banyak light, makin tinggi light, makin banyak photosynthesis? It's simply because more light, it would lead to more light absorbed by chlorophyll. Okay, so banyak, makin banyak lights, artinya banyaklah lights kena absorb. Kalau banyak light kena absorb, artinya 
more photosynthesis. Okay, so it makes sense. Okay, it's quite straightforward as well. Whereas for part two here, ah, for part two here, okay, if you recall back the, the stuff that we did masa class, yang sesusun the boys, lepas satu sebagi dorang buku, okay, it's the same thing here, okay? Last time, buku atu se-imagine dorang as lights. Okay, buku atu sebagai lightnya. Lepas satu, dorang the boys sebagai chlorophyllnya. Okay, kalau ada satu buku, 10 boys, so I can give to any of the boys. If I have 10 books, now I have 10, 10 books for all 10 boys. But if I have 20 books, only at one time, only 10 10 books yang dipakai juga. Okay, because other factors might be limiting during this time here. Okay, so explanations yeah, for that one. Okay, kenapa ia constant? Simply because other factor may be limiting the rate of reaction or photosynthesis. Maksudnya apa? Ada benda-benda lain, ada faktor lain yang boleh affecting photosynthesis lagi selain daripada light. Okay, because at this time, in the berguna lagi. Kalau kami tambah banyak-banyak light pun, tambah banyak-banyak, in the jual menaik-naik. Pasal apa? Because for photosynthesis, kan ada ada empat faktor lagi. Okay, so sudah satu, artinya ada tiga lagi faktor yang boleh affect. Okay, so that one is for uh, for uh, for part two. Okay, that's the explanation. Other factors may be limiting the rate of photosynthesis. Or in other words, you can also say that during this time, during level two here, what is happening is light is no longer the limiting factor. Okay, light is no longer the limiting factor. Okay, so, right, so and, and it, just to take note saja, apa limiting factor? Limiting factor, what is it? Is any factor in which if you change or vary it, it will also change or affect the rate of reaction. Okay, so this is the meaning of limiting factor. Any factor in which if you change it, it will also change the rate of reaction. So if you see here, okay, if you go back to this graph, if you go to this graph here, you see, uh, if we change the light intensity, if we change the factor, the light, if we change it, it also change, it also increase, it also change the rate of photosynthesis. So which means at this case here, masa sini, at this case, siapa yang limiting factor, light is limiting. Okay, pasalnya kalau kami change lightnya, if we change the factor, it also change the reaction, it also change the photosynthesis. So in this case, light is the limiting factor. Okay, but here, if you see, if you increase the light further, it does not increase the rate of reaction. Okay, it remains constant. Okay, so in other words, here, light is no longer limiting. So other factors may become limiting factor. Okay, so apa other factors are too? It could be CO2, it could be temperature, or it could be the number of chlorophyll. Okay, 
So it could be any of the other factors, right? It could also, it could even be the um, amount of water. Right? So that's the concept of limiting factor there, right? So if you go to this, let me just... So if you go back to this one here, okay, so your graph and the explanations, yeah, this is Kira, the, just the, the descriptions yeah, you know, from your notes, right? Tapi kalau yang dalam exam, probably they ask you to describe each part, so the ones that I just told you, right? So that's how you do. And then you also have the graph for temperature, as well as the graph for carbon dioxide now. So for this one, the graph for temperature, okay, as you can see, they mentioned about enzymes, enzyme, 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 enzyme. Okay, so the graph will actually be very similar to the graph for enzyme activity. Okay, so if you recall back the graph for enzyme activity, it should be something to money. Okay, it should be something to money. And this time, the effect of temperature. Okay, effect for temperature on rate of photosynthesis. Huh? So it should be, this is temperature. Temperature upper degree Celsius. This is rate of photosynthesis. Unit, arbitrary unit. Now, Chana, you put a graph. Yeah? The graph should be very similar to the graph for enzyme. Okay, why? Because if you have temperature, it's always related, related to enzyme. Okay, anything temperature is always related to enzyme. Selalunya. Okay. So in this case, how the graph should look like are your notes as well. The graph should actually look to money. So it will increase, 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 increase gradually. It will reach its peak and then it will actually drop to an end. Okay. So if you refer to your graph for enzymes, ada sudah se explain kan ne? Number one, number two, number three. Number one, before optimum. Number two, arah optimum. Number three, after optimum. Okay, you should refer to your notes. It's the same description, same explanation applies. The only difference is, is to do with photosynthesis. Okay, it's to do with enzymes in photosynthesis. So that's why around your notes come they also mention about enzymes, enzymes, enzymes. Okay, but the descriptions, yeah. Okay, the descriptions for any is the same descriptions yang ara enzyme, ara notes enzyme kamu. Yang pernah saya ajar before is the same thing to describe. Okay, you just refer back there. Okay, but just very quickly, kenapa any descriptionsnya makin naik? Why? Because they gain kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. Energy, which means more collision, and more reaction. Okay, and the optimum, optimum, which means maximum collision, which means maximum reaction. Okay, and arah sini kenapa denatured? Okay, so it's very similar to your enzymes. And lastly, is the graph for, actually forgot what the graph Uh, the graph for chlorophyll. 
the path if we go to and blah 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 there 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 mm, is it this one carbon dioxide oh sorry sorry okay so it will be the graph on carbon dioxide the graph for carbon dioxide will be very very similar to yang mana satu very similar to your light okay and the description is almost the same as well yeah good luck yeah Okay. So the graph for carbon dioxide is very similar to similar to light as well. So it should be macam cemani. So it's increasing. Lepas satu leveling off, right? So description is quite similar. You just change the axis nyato, labeling nyato. So jika kamu tukar, then you put them in. Okay. And then the explanations nya is quite similar as well. So more carbon dioxide means more absorbed by the chlorophyll. So more absorbed by chlorophyll, more photosynthesis. Okay, so that's the first part. The second part, okay, same thing, other factors may now be limiting because all the chlorophyll has been used up, as it's been saturated, okay? It's been saturated, it's all been used up, Maximum sudah. So other factors might be limiting. Other factors, contohnya, the other factors, it could be the temperature or it could be light, okay? Or it could even be the number of chlorophyll, okay? So water, uh, water is, they also have effect, tapi in the banyak effectnya tu. Pasal, simply because, um, uh, they, 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 they already, it's already there, okay? And of course, um, we also know that they directly absorb the water, right? And when they directly absorb the water, uh, it's very hard to investigate because plants also respire which release water, okay? So it's very hard to know water to the town dari mana, okay? Where do they actually come from the water, right? But we know that it's there, it's needed. Okay, water yato. Right, and we've also discussed about limiting factors as well. So that's the discussion. Right, so graph blah blah. Ah, and then this part here, mineral nutrition. So I will actually cover in the next lesson. Okay, so for now, that's it. Kali saja dulu. Yeah, so for today, that's Kali saja dulu. So remember, we have done for today is we recall the photosynthesis process okay secondly what we have done is we have uh look at how they investigate how do they know that chlorophyll is needed light is needed carbon dioxide is needed and number three we learn about how to describe how to explain okay okay how to describe how to explain the graph which affects the photosynthesis process the factors now Okay, so that's it for today. Um, we'll stop now. I'll see you guys. Uh, well, I'll, I'll see you guys very soon, hopefully. Okay, bye.